Cheers. Hold on. Let's put just a little bit of Irish coffee for you. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, that was the second hit. We put some in off camera. This feel. Cheers, cheers brother. Cheers. Bump. Here it is. Cheers. Bop, bop, bop. Bop, bop, bop. Mmm. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Whiskey Ginger. My guest today is one of my favorite people on earth. I say that for all my guests, but I meet him once again today. It's Mr. Chris DeStefano. Hey! Your parents don't know who your favorite comics are. No fucking way, dude. They have no idea who my who my favorite comics are. My favorite comic, I would say, is Sam Kinison. Um, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. He died. I fucking uh, who else is hilarious? I mean, Joe Biden, Joe Biden's fun. He was playing Despacito yesterday. But can I tell you something? On Joe, the phone. Joe Biden is a good comedian. Yeah. But the problem is, I don't think he's found his voice yet. Mm -hmm. That's the that's my biggest beef with Biden. Yeah. yeah. He's almost there. Yeah. He was at a mic. I, when I was traveling to New York one time, Joe Biden was at, where were we on the, like, the Upper East Side at, at this weird mic? And he brought a guitar on stage. Right. And he does, I don't know if you've seen this bit. And no. he goes, and he goes um, this is how I feel about guitar comics. And he breaks the guitar. Right. Well, he it wasn't his guitar. It was right. some guy in the band. Yeah. And he did this bit, and he broke out a wad of cash. Right. And he threw it at the at the kid. Really. And he goes, "Fix yourself." And he left. And I, I thought it was a good bit. I that's I don't you know. Really? Look, I don't want to criticize someone's comedy, but I think it was really really funny. Dude, Joe fix Bi yourself. Joe Biden, hot though. Come on, she is. One yeah, of the no, fucking, that's why she worked so much. One of the best weekends I ever had is I was I was at um, a Ramada in <laughs> Sacramento, and I would just fucking I would I would go on YouTube and take stills of Kamala Harris's feet and then I rub uh, honey Dijon mustard on my dick and just jerk off. <laughs> it was fucking crazy, That's dude. That's wild, it's man. It's great, dude. I would come and then I would come and it would just be fucking great, man. Mustard's a very healthy condiment. Honey Dijon? Honey, D honey Dijon. Because there, what's the one from like Chick Fil A has a really good. It's like a hot honey mustard. That's I don't know, favorite. dude. I love the thing about Chick Fil A is even more than a chicken. I love their policy. Well, because they're great policy. Well, because they're more. Are they Mormons? Is that who it is? No, I no think Mormons is in and out. Yeah, I just stand behind whatever Chick Fil A does. I'm 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 all for Chick Fil A. Yeah, I remember that they said they were closed on Sundays, uh, and I was like, why would you close on Sundays? And they say because we don't think gays should get married. And I was like, all right. Yeah. I understand. They wanted to, because on Sundays, they take the time to, to pray for the gays. That's right. what they said. They said, Sunday is our day to pray for the gays. Right. We hope they can pl pray them straight. Right. And I got to be honest with you, I've read some statistics that say, if you pray hard enough, you can pray a gay person straight within a couple of years. Really? Interesting. That's I, that's, I've, I've heard of different statistics all over the internet. My, people want to be like in 2020, like everybody's a joke. You're just saying things for laughs and votes <laughs> and clickbait. And it's like, yeah, man, I, the one, dude, I kiss men on the lips softly. Yeah. I'll kiss a man on his on both his lips softly. I'll tongue kiss a fucking man. Yeah, dude, I got one. I got two chains on. One of these chains is a woman's chain. I fucking like men. <laughs> What's up, dude? <laughs> you all right? I just, I really, I, I can't wait for my dad to call me that when he listens to this episode. Yeah, because I'm gonna get one of those. He's like, I heard your buddy talking about blowing guys and stuff. It's a bit, right? <laughs> yeah. No. Whatever you say, Mister Santino. But it's not a bit. It's not a bit, dude. But it's not a bit. And people need to know this. This is what I. Um, yeah. Two things on this podcast now that you're ha this this deep in it. Um, one, Chris is never joking, mm -mm. and neither am I. We've never made a joke. This whole thing is a very strict, honest, real podcast. Yes, never once a part of this. I know it's a comedy podcast. All this is real. We have ne this is not for jokes. No, nope. this place is not for comedy. Not, not not at all. Not it. Maybe at one time it was, but nope. in 2020, when things are serious, when the biggest election of our lives is coming up in a month or two from now, whenever this comes out, mm. there's n I'm not joking. I'm not. I'm. I'm genuinely being like serious because it's like a lot of people like want to make jokes and be like, "Oh, comedians are politicians. Politicians are comedians." Like, I don't know. I identify as an American citizen, and I'm not joking when I tell you, do the right thing in November and make sure you that fucking box you check whenever you vote is to the right the whole way down. <laughs> Because I swear to fucking Christ, if, if our boy Donnie T doesn't get four more, you're really going to be in for it. Well, let me, let me ask you one more thing. I just have a, I have a bunch of questions that I don't know that if you want to answer on camera, but you can if you feel like it. There's a lot, been a lot of controversy about building a border wall, right? Mm -hmm. Now, you said we should build a border around Florida because we don't want those people to come in right. to the rest of the country. And then you said on our podcast that mm -hmm. you should build a wall and it should be a maze. It should be a maze. Which was, which was a joke, which, yeah. but, but you said that in 2019. Well, now it's not a joke. It's not a joke. That, that 2020 now where I'm like, you know, we need to build a wall and I'd like to build the wall with the bodies of dead Democrats. Okay. That's that what sense. I want, and that's not a joke anymore. Dead Democrats just that are just dead. In if you're a Democrat and you die, and if you want to lend yourself to America, because all you've been doing now is trying to take her down, mm -hmm. is you can lend your fucking dead, useless blue carcass to the wall in Mexico <laughs> to prevent 
anybody who doesn't have a U.S. passport, who doesn't fucking bleed red, right. white, and blue, right. you could use your fucking vegan carcass <laughs> and, and be a part of that wall. <laughs> you, That's what I feel. You recently were quoted in the U in USA Today. Yes, saying that that it. <laughs> <laughs> you were recently quoted in, in USA Today, and you said not only should at every sporting event we play the national anthem, mm -hmm. but you also think we should do different renditions. One of them by Kid Rock. You suggested you should. You yeah. said he should play uh, the Star Spangled Banner. Mm -hmm. Kid Rock. You then said you want Travis Tritt. To play um, "God Bless America," yes. So you said you said not only should we do that, we should have a lineup of musicians to play American pro songs. In fact, you said it could take over some of the game. Yeah, I think uh, I, I that's what I'd like to see. I mean, I'd like to um, see a lot of people. You know, Roseanne Barr. I'd like to see what she, what you know she sang the national anthem once or twice, and I thought she had a good rendition. Right. I think um, yeah, and I think now you know if. Uh, if you get down on uh, one knee when the when the anthem's uh, playing, um, you in order to get up, you just have to you know we, we have to fist fight. Like I just feel like if you want to get down right. on one knee, if you want to get back up, you're kind of signaling to me that if I'm a true patriot and I bleed red, white, and blue, and I want to fight for America, <laughs> then you getting down on one knee is kind of us saying like you know let the fight begin. And and I also think a lot of you parents out there that want that are uh, say you know what my kid's eight years old and I'm gonna let them choose what kind of fucking sex they want to be, if they want to be trans or whatever. I think that the rule should be if your child's under 18 and you want them to go trans, you as the parents have to go trans first. So you two... Wei Zhong Zhan. Wei Zhong Zhan. And then let your little fucking kid... And then you see how you like fear. And then let your little 15-year-old kid cut his fucking schmeagle off if he wants. That's my policy. And the reason why the city's on fire is because let's just fucking face it. Okay, what is Los Angeles? What is Los Angeles? The biggest Democrat, biggest gay city. And what does Jesus do every six months? Light it on fire. What does that tell you? He's a Republican. <laughs> you think Jesus was a Republican? Jesus is a Republican. You know that for a fact. For a fact. My mother fucking talks to Jesus. And he says, I'm, I'm voting right always. He all he does is protect the red cities and light the blue cities on fire. Well, let me Portland, you, LA is oh, on fire. Okay, but well, let me give you an argument. What happens with the hurricanes in the south? What how do you explain that? Why would Jesus do that? Um I don't know, probably because there weren't many hurricanes before until there were these little blue pockets oh, like right. Austin. So you and, think the hurricanes are out to just to hurt the blue blue parts. Yes. Right. Yes, that's what I think. And you know, look, none of this is a bit. This is just how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, honestly, whether or not people think you're being honest, mm -hmm. the real truth is you are. Yes. <laughs> um, I'm so happy to see you, dude. Dude, I'm so fucking happy. Honestly, to see you. last time I saw you, yeah, you know, you talked you talked on the podcast about um, what did I say? you can't have booze and pills because then you go suck a dick. You go suck a dick. And, and honestly, and I and I thought about it, I thought that was a funny joke that Chris said when he was here last time. Yeah, yeah. So then I, you send me a couple videos. Yes. And that's, that's, that comedy's gone. That's all fact. That's comedy's gone now because, you know, and, and honestly, I was talking to Donnie. Don, check out Don DePetta. Um, he's off to the he's side. He's right now. here off to the side. He's, check, he's He's got his legs spread wide open for us. These hairy he Italian hasn't legs. fucking seen wide open until I get to him. Well, because you're going to crack him. 100%, dude. That fucking well, hairy you guys Italian were hanging out last night, and I said, what are you guys doing? And then you said, oh, we're going to watch the Islanders game. Yeah. And I said, oh, great. You know, I yeah. also love hockey. And then you said, right on, but... Don and I have a thing that we have to do. Now, what do you guys do when you watch hockey? What is it that you were doing? We were, I mean, I'm a big Islanders fan. They won last night uh, in double overtime. Um, so we were just, uh, we were watching hockey, kind of just sitting back and like enjoying being white. See, and I don't believe that. And I know, I know something else was going on. Because you were acting real jumpy, and you said, "Well, if he comes over, we'll have to change." Well, that's only. Well, that's only. Be, well, no, it's because his his girlfriend is Latina and Latinx. Uh, Latinx, yeah. and and uh, we kind of always are a little worried. We don't. It's embarrassing because like ICE comes over a lot, right? To check on the status and all that. Now, is she legal or no? He says yes, but we know. It's I no. don't. Let's not. I don't want to yeah. get it. You know. I, I know it's no, it. and I've I've made some calls or whatever, and it's like you know. Well, you gonna bust your buddy though? That's the problem. Like, no, I mean, if they ever want to break up, then yes, 100% right. I'll get ice over there. Yeah, she's going right over the Democrat dead body wall. Re oh, so she's involved because she's a lefty? She, she, uh, she's a but lefty. But Don is, Don's not a lefty. She's a South American lefty, yes. Yeah, so, oh, so they South have, they, America. They have to go. It's no, that's, not gonna, this, that's very this troubling. This country's not going to become Venezuela. How do we, how do we fix the country? Uh, Republicans. You think we should have police occupation? Like you said uh, out, uh, out loud multiple times on Ventura Boulevard on Ventura Boulevard right here in LA you said not you said 
refund the police times two. Yes. So not defund. You want them refund. You want Refunded. double their budgets. Du refund the police. Yeah, for all the... Yeah, refund the police. Refund the police, double their budget is what you were saying. Absolutely. You think... And you had told me... Give them... I want, I, I want to give them more guns. Yeah, you said two guns per cop. Two guns per cop. On each side. Two guns it, per copita. Two guns per cop. Yeah. So two guns a cop, and you think every cop, sh a good cop should get a tank, is what you said. Good cops should get a tank, and bad cops get a Hummer. Yep, that's what I think. I guess it makes sense that this, these are plans that you've kind of started to put into place. Do you think maybe you could run for office at some regard and make some moves? I'd like to. Because comedy's not going to work out, do you think? No, comedy's not going to work out. I no. just ruined my career in the last 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> do you think people... We live in such a sick, twisted world that people would potentially take the first 20 minutes of that podcast and put it out for realsies if they ever got mad And take this out of context? Yeah. Of course they would. Yeah. You got a big female demo? Well, um, we have... Our demo is kind of like everybody. It's, it's kind of weird. Like, we have people who... Uh, politically extreme one way the other way we got guys we got girls we got a lot of transgender people yeah uh, well, i would say yeah. i would say i would i would yeah. argue and anybody can tweet at me at christy comedy at history in this podcast we have the biggest transgender following of any podcast <laughs> in the country I don't i'm gonna know. say i'm gonna fuck so i, I just don't we, know we have a big it's fucking I, true i don't know i don't know have, bro i don't know do. metrics for that and i'm gonna we do to, bloomberg news did it i yeah. don't know wow did. i can i don't know if they did they did they did they did no and and i'm telling you fact check after this show. Yeah. Fact check because I'm telling you, I mean, every, I would say every fucking day, every day, or at least every other day. Yeah. We get to our DMs, someone's post op genitalia. Uh, and that tells us yeah. that, because they'll say, you know, love you guys going wild. Like, because we'll, we'll say, hey, send us something wild you did today. And people will constantly put in on a flight to Thailand, taking a piece of my elbow, making a dick. Yeah. Okay. Or, you know, go, get a lot. Take, yeah, take, we got to I have to yeah. stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it, yeah. I, don't, I don't know if they take a piece of the elbow. Again, that's I'm what, they, yeah, no, that's they what do. we do in Brooklyn, guy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll fucking take your elbow, yeah. making a dick. I'll fucking suck it. I'll fucking mother yell Trump 2020. <laughs> You're getting crazy, bro. Wow. Dude, he's supposed to come in super and hard. And that's so good. He took man. a tiny bite of the fucking it's, chocolate. It's disrespectful to eat rice patties in front of Asians and just take a big American yeah, fucking yeah, gulp. So yeah. I want to eat them like how they eat them. Yeah. Little, dude, you're little so ants. thoughtful, man. I don't know they're if that's little, how these they... These guys got little teeth and little ants. No, no, no. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> man, this hey, is... Hey, a kid. Yeah. He's a little teeth. man. <laughs> what do you mean? Little teeth, little ants. You're being super disrespectful. I'm not being racist. You're fucking good kid. No, I like it. I like it. I mean, I'll give you 20 bucks. You can tell there's between Bobby Lee and Ali Wong. <laughs> man, I mean, it would I'm take. I'm being a dick. We got transgender fans. I can say what I want. Yeah. I fucking stand with you. I stand with her. Yeah. Tuck, your dick, tuck your dicks back. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Do the right thing in the election man. year in November. Go, Go to the, the right. Yeah. What? Now, DeChapo, what were you? What was your sport, bro? Um, I'm taking you in right now, and yeah. you're you're you represent muscular comedy. You and Del Vecchio. Oh yeah, a couple of thick boys. The problem with me is this, though. When I take my shirt off, it all falls apart. Uh, so I look good and close. I was yeah. told by a casting director, and I think he nailed it, I got leading man face, best friend body. So, you know, when I take the shirt off. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's, that's why I'm a comedian. You know what I mean? If, if, if I matched it all up, I'd be out there with fucking Tom Hardy You're doing Brad sex Pitt. scenes with him. Brad Pitt, yeah, bro. Yeah, I wouldn't you, do a sex scene with Tom Hardy. You can't like yourself that much if you're a comedian. Right. That's my opinion. Right. You got to hate yourself a little bit. Yeah, like yeah. I've, you know, I've always, you know, girls, it's always kind of like with me, you know, when I take those, sh when I take my shirt off, and Yana said the same thing. Like we thought, not that it's terrible, but we thought it was going to be a little different. Yeah, you're the you're the thick girl in Spain. Yeah, like I got. And then like, it comes out and it just oh, like I get up. I got a lunch like lady a ass. Too. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a fucking little bit of an LLA. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you grew up in Brooklyn. We're, we're, we're Brooklyn kids. Yeah, he Obviously. grew up in like the you know upper Park echelon, Slope. Park Slope, Brooklyn, yeah. gentrified, yeah, yeah. woke dope. Yeah, and I grew up where it was like you know it's blue collar. Dude, how Brooklyn yeah. are they? I Very mean, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. My mother's born and raised in Bensonhurst. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, so side of the family. Hell, yeah. nice. Do you ever go back there, visit her? Uh, when I was a kid, I used to go back to see my great grandmother, who was who died at ninety eight or something. Wow, I got good genetics. As yeah, you, know. you do. You look good. No, you, you look, look young. You're healthy. Both yeah. you guys. Yeah. there's a lot of health out here in yeah, LA. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of yeah. not, you guys it, breathe not well. So much in New York. No, no. nobody's really. Bro, I We're got anxious. fucking three. I got yeah. packets of Dayquil in my pocket yeah. right now. Ooh, I like We're not that. healthy kids. Yeah, we get nervous. Well, the only one I know who doesn't touch like bad food and who's from New Andrew Schultz doesn't eat bread. Andrew Schultz doesn't touch bread. Really? Yeah, well, Andrew Schultz is running New York City like it's North Korea. Yeah, okay? so that's I mean, what he's that fucking is. Yeah. He, he, tells, he tells people he doesn't poop, 
and then that's just what you have to deal with. Yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. Schultz is yeah. our boy, but it's marketing, yeah. right? Schultz is our fuck. It's marketing. He yeah. just yells so marketing, good at it. and he's our fuck. He's really fucking yeah. good at it. Yeah. No, we're on the Schultz. Where we are, Schultz disciples. You yeah. know. Yeah. But it's the thing is, if Schultz ever gets a little lippy, I'll still fucking screw his head off. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. what he knows about us. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You know, yep. and he's yep. like, yep. he posts boxing videos, and I said, all I got to do is tickle your balls for three seconds. Yeah. And that's it. We'll be in a relationship for two years. You'll never know what fucking hit you. That's right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. That's how he fights. That's how he does. You don't see him coming at all. Yeah, that's, that's a long, long game, game, bro. You fucking you know, not, yeah. Christmas, guys. Even, so don't fuck with me, are you, Jones. Are you being metaphorical right now? Are you no, being I'm literal. saying, Brian, yeah. if that kid fucking, yeah. if, if people like that want to pop off at me, yeah. Yeah. I'll yeah. fucking corner them at the comedy that's store right. or, something, or out here at the comedy store, yeah. and I'll yeah. tickle their balls, yeah. Yeah. and the next thing you know, they're bringing me home for holidays, and we're <laughs> in a gay relationship, <laughs> yeah. going all over the world yeah. on his Sky Miles, because he's selling yeah. more tickets to me right now, and then he won't even fucking realize what happened until it's three years in. That's a fucking intricate metaphor. And we've adopted an Asian baby. He also that's a, that's a that's super intricate metaphor. He told me before I we got here. He said if either one of these guys starts talking shit, he's going to pop in their lap so quick they're not going to know what hit him. Absolutely. Yeah. He said keep talking popping like it's Christmas time. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. No, yeah. yeah. no, what are you talking about? This is how we roll out there. That Jazz, be, Palmentero, all my friends like that to do the same shit as I do. Yeah, yeah. I think that might be Brooklyn for I'm going to kick your ass, but, I, I, but it's, it's I'm confused. I thought yeah. we were talking about boxing. Keep talking. He'll pop in that lap. He'll end up in that lap. I swear to fucking God, you fuck me or buy a house together. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Absolutely, guy. We'll do all that shit. We'll have wedding photos. Un Absolutely. I'll get a fuck. full sex change. Keep talking shit, fuck, bro. Man, I don't give a shit, shit, dude. Yeah. We'll get a puppy. Yeah, yeah fuck, bro. I give don't up. tell Brian with a good time. Yeah, dude. Yeah. We'll start bug chasing whatever you need to do. Oh, God. You know what bug chasing is? I want to no. come. Yo, bug chasing's wild. Bug These chasing? kids don't know what bug chasing is. You don't know how he lives. He what chases bugs. Okay, so what bug chasing is is a phenomenon in the gay community. I've heard it's a phenomenon in the gay community <laughs> where they go out and they have the, to the thrill because sometimes you're having so much sex that you just nothing pops off anymore so they have sex with guy the guy won't have hiv will have sex with the guy who has hiv and the thrill of catching the bug will get make them come so yeah. it's bug chasing oh that's right so i'm saying roulette, if you bro. keep yeah. fucking me that's what we'll, we'll go out and do that for three years you won't even know it yeah God. you won't even know until you fucking Dude, start zero converting sounds yeah awful Super. yeah bro you thought it's UFC was wild it's basically looking at aids in the eye and go what it's yeah. going what to aids what it's, it's going yeah. what yeah now now it's not my cup of tea but it's brave yeah it's, brave. it's fucking 100%. brave man. everybody's out here with brave comedy specials will fucking come into christy d's world i'm yeah. bug chasing yeah. on third avenue <laughs> Dude, what, hey, I swear yeah. to God, dude. I start holding your hand right it. now. I'll get so horny. I'll fucking text he, what he does, on my phone. What he All does, right. yeah. He <laughs> has a girl over his house. He'll call me for a 45-minute conversation yeah. to get going, and then he's he's ready to go with her. I need thought. I, the only way I can come is insightful, man. I was getting a blowjob a couple weeks yeah. ago in Denver. I couldn't. Three hours, this girl's blowing me. My skin was, she was like recircumcising me. I put on an Obama speech, blasted a lot. I fucking <laughs> shot one off the uvula <laughs> as soon as he's fucking, yeah. you know. Yeah. That's yeah. Obama yeah. speech? Obama yeah. right, speech, man. I like black, smart men. That's what I'm into. <laughs> but I, I like women now. Oh, fuck, man. I'm confused as fuck. Yeah, right yeah. Now. yeah, yeah dude. Dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Absolutely. That's, That's why how... I like Andrew Schultz. He's a smart black guy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yes, yeah. is. But you yeah. have a kid. You're a dad. I got a, I got a four year old daughter. But but and you know I'm spending all my. She's my best friend. But you know Giannis is uh, kind of like a life partner to me. And now he's yeah. moving. So I I want to get Joe DeRosa. I don't know if you guys know Joe DeRosa, great comedian who looks enough like Giannis. So I want to get him into the neighborhood because I want to just pretend he's Giannis. <laughs> I'll put him on a leash. I'll fucking spank him. I'll make him do what I what. what yeah, I well, Giannis. Just surrogate. But now you know yeah. yeah. And I'll just be like you, I'm going to call you Giannis. Something yeah. like that. Not a bad idea. Yeah. 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 Kids yeah. got good ideas. You got to give him that. You got great. Yeah. You got to give him that. It's good ideas. Absolutely, man. He's got Ger Germans out. have good ideas. Yeah. How, how long have you guys been out? Oh, wow. That was just a joke. Depends on what epoch of history, bro. <laughs> kidding. They make no. good cars, but you can't just say <laughs> yeah. generally the best cars. cars. They make was, the best cars. Yeah. I was kidding around. No, yeah. no, no. Yeah. 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 I was just joking around. Mine's a couple years. Mine's a couple years. I'm not talking about the No, they're But the Japanese got what was fucking coming to them. Yeah, but tell them about the unis, though. The unis. I will say that. Yeah, tell them that. I will say, I am not, you know, being of German heritage now, you know, 40% on Ancestry.com German heritage. I do not support the Nazi ideology I think what they did was horrible but yeah. those uniforms were fucking cute, cute. Yeah, you got I mean, that. designed by Hugo Boss yeah. fry boots yeah. I mean he they had an eye for nice fashion yeah. uh, shout out Andrew Schultz yeah. he'll fucking make a video of this now too because he's the real dictator <laughs> so you know you want to talk about new Hitler <laughs> AndrewSchultz.com so, <laughs> so, man I, I, but do you ever yeah. think of uh, stories your dad told you I think the stories my dad told yeah. me when I was younger and now I'm older I'm like Oh, he was full of shit. Yeah, that lie. never Dude, happened. Yeah. There's stories yeah. my dad told me that it were definitely 100%. lies, but then my mother does
guy, you know, like Bronx guy, Italian. organized crime type shit, you know, in and out of jail when I was a kid, you know, and he's 75 years old now, he's a diabetic, you know, he, fuck, he almost died actually the day after Christmas, this guy ate half a tray of lasagna, like four cannolis, oh, I love it. three cups of coffee, yeah. penny vodka, and, yeah. and then, you know, I'm just watching me, but then I'm like, I gotta step in, I'm like, dad, what are you doing? He goes, oh, I didn't know I had a gay son, and I'm like, okay. Dude, but <laughs> so, also, but also, you know? let him do his thing, bro, <laughs> let him do his thing, though, you yeah. know? And then fucking three hours later, we're in the ER with him, and he's gurgling, I'm like, hey, who sounds gay now? You fucking gargling, <laughs> oh, is true, is that? congestive heart failure, yeah, oh my I swear God. to God. But my dad used to tell me stories, I'm like, no way, but there's one story, and my mom confirmed it. So when my mom, my dad is not a great looking guy. I mean, Giannis, he, he looks, looks like, like Barney Rubble. Rubble. Yeah. So, you know, and my mother's a beautiful woman. She went to an Ivy League school and, you know, they met at a walkathon and my mom was walking the walkathon, raising money for like a great cause. And my dad was doing community service on the side of the walkathon, prison work release. And they wanted to, <laughs> ha she wanted to have like a fling with the bad boy and they had me. So my mom's kind of stuck oh. with this guy now. And they were at Central Park. My mother's 21 years old when she had me. So at Central Park. How old was your dad? My dad, my mother was 21 when she had me. My dad was 38. So my Hell dad, yeah. yeah, he's an older kid Hell now, yeah. my dad. Yeah. So, so they were laying down in Central Park and my mom was like seven months pregnant. She had like a blanket over her and my dad in the middle of the fucking day gets up to take a piss behind a tree in the middle of Central Park. So he's, my mom's just sitting there like reading a book and Dan Aykroyd was rollerblading by or roller skating by and, uh, and he started hitting on my mother and my dad chased Dan Aykroyd like down a lane at Central Park with a fucking twig yeah. with his piss dick. It's the height of fame, Dan yeah. Aykroyd. The height of fame. And then my mom was like, no, that's Blues true. Brothers. Yeah. I was like, what? Holy shit, and it's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This guy. So did your dad catch him and beat the shit out of him? No, no, no. He skated away. In like a conehead. In, in Florida, in Florida, <laughs> yeah, you got a transgender I'm reading. Transgen yeah. Okay. So, so I had a transgender. Do you identify as a transgender man? I identify as a trans. I well, right now, I think it depends <clears throat> because here's the thing is if, if, if you know, we, we live in a free society right now, and there's days where I do genuinely feel like a transgender Eskimo, so I don't know why okay. I can't just get in my little igloo, so it's get Inuit. a piece of halibut and make it a pussy. It's, it's Inuit, <laughs> it's not Eskimo. I, find I apologize. Offensive. I find that offensive. And you know, your pronouns? Did we used to date, me and you? <laughs> Maybe. Because I, I feel like we, you and I used to date. Yeah. There's something about that mustache. I feel like I've been tickled by you before. <laughs> that's not even a mustache. That's a mustache. Oh, that's mustache. a mustache. Yeah, we call that a mustache. Dude, it, would, you'd, it was with great Opie from the Opie and Anthony show. And um, Sherrod had given Opie edibles in a chocolate bar, right? And I didn't, I had never taken edibles before. I'm not a drug guy, I don't know. Opie just gives me the chocolate bar. I didn't know you're supposed to take half Oof. of a half of the square yes. oh, of the chocolate bar, oh, okay? So, Op, I'm, and I love sweets. I mean, I got high, you know, my me cholesterol too. was 250 at the yeah, time. Yeah, sweet tea. So, I love sweets, you know? So, I literally, oh, we're on the train going to the Islanders game, New York Islanders game. And uh, Opie just gives me the chocolate bar and just starts looking at his phone. So I didn't know you're supposed to take half of half of square. I ate the entire chocolate bar, oh. just to the head. Sherrod oh, Smalls weed, shit, chocolate dude. potent. Oh my god! Bar, okay, <clears throat> I forget that it even happened because Opie just for, Opie was like not doing the weed. So Opie, he just gave me the chocolate bar. Didn't even think about it. I just fucking crushed this thing. Right, having a good time. All of a sudden, we're at the Islanders game. First period buzzer goes off. <laughs> I thought somebody threw a spear <laughs> from the top of the jumbotron <laughs> through my right, through the right side of my head, cutting off the left side of my body. I pop up out of the seat. I go, I'm having a stroke. I'm having a stroke. <laughs> so I'm yelling that I'm having a stroke, yeah. right? I forgot that I was even on edibles. I'm convinced I'm having a fucking stroke. Yeah. yeah. So I go up the stairs and I'm just walking around. I'm like, I'm having a stroke, Opie. I'm having a stroke. He's like, you're not having a stroke. I'm like, dude, I'm having a fucking stroke. I'm at the left side of my arm is doesn't work. And I'm like flinging my arm and it's not working. <laughs> So then, I'm like, I have to go. So terrifying. Dude, so I'm in a packed Islanders game, and this is New York City. I'm a big Islanders fan. Opie's a big Islanders fan. So people know who we are. Of course, they know Opie, and they're like, so they'll stop and see Opie, and they're like, oh, they, that guy's always on his show. So they're talking to me, and I'm trying to have these. Dude, the actual, just as luck would have it, the Islanders broadcast team interviewed Opie and brought me on the interview. Oh, yeah, and wow. I cursed on fucking SNY. <laughs> wow. What'd you say? I yelled, fuck the Rangers, because they were playing the Rangers. <laughs> so, so they were like, you know, boop, camera down, see ya, you know? So I literally, I had gotten tickets. I had gotten tickets from the Islanders. The Ticket Connect was mine, from the Islanders. So they found out that I yelled, fuck the Rangers, lose the tickets. I leave, I leave Barclays Center. I walk up to a police officer who's in full SWAT riot gear because, I mean, it's New York City. These guys have real jobs to do, this terrorist activity. I walk up to him. I said, officer, I'm going to be 100% honest with you right now. 
I've ingested drugs. And he goes, um, <laughs> and he goes, and he goes, what do you mean? He goes, oh, I said, I said, I'm having a stroke. What a pussy and move. he goes, and he goes, okay, what kind of drugs did you ingest? I said, I, I can't tell you the type of marijuana strain that I've ingested, <laughs> but I have consumed an illegal amount of drugs. I was trying to use all these professional words. Dude, he started laughing at me so hard. I thought he was going to shoot his gun in the air. So he goes, I swear to God, he goes, kid, get the fuck out of here. That's what he says to me, like in a movie. And I was like, you know, so he goes, kid, get the fuck out of here. So I get in a cab. It's on 4th Avenue and 8th Street. I get in a cab. I'm like, take me to where I live, 4th Avenue and 93rd Street. So the, by the way, it was so, I, it was freezing. It was January, but I had my jacket on. I was so fucking hot. I asked this cab driver to open up all the windows. This guy opened up all the windows and he was like shivering and freezing. And I was like, guy, I'm sorry. I'm having a fucking stroke right now. I'm on drugs. You got to keep these windows down. And he was like, I'm so cold. I'm so cold. I was like, if you could show me a valid U.S. passport, I'll put the windows up. Obviously, he couldn't. He's a cab driver. He said, they're staying down, fucking vit room. So, so. Vit room. Vit room. I don't know. What? No. That was his name? That's a no. pronunciation. I don't know, dude. I was high. All right. So, <laughs> so, Fuck, man. Vit room. So, literally, dude, it's 4th Avenue, 93rd Street. The cab driver stopped at a light at 4th Avenue and 63rd Street. I look out. I'm like, I'm home. I open the door. I open the door. And he's like, I thought I was on 93rd Street, but the six and the nine were, you know, reversed in my head. <laughs> Bro, I'm fucking sweating. It's like eight degrees. I throw my jacket, like a $400 North Face jacket in a public garbage can in New York City. Jeez, Bang! Christ. Right in Sunset Park, Brooklyn. I start sprinting home. I don't know what the fuck is happening. I didn't live with my kid's mom at the time. I go to my kid's mom's house. It's uh -oh. 10 o'clock at night. I ring the bell. Oh, Dude, no. I ring the bell. She goes, what are you doing here? I was like, I'm having a stroke. And she was like, Chris, you're not having a stroke. I said, I'm having a stroke. I've ingested, I've ingested drugs. So she goes, oh my God. She goes, all right, come in. So she goes, you have to take a shower. She knew she used to use drugs when she was a kid. She's like, you have to take a shower. She was like, take help. a shower and drink Doesn't milk. Help. I know. She goes, take a shower and well, drink milk. if you had ecstasy and stuff? Yeah. Oh, really? So I take yeah, a shower. I take cool a shower. Yeah, to, I fucking start drinking this milk, and then I take a shower. I take a shower with my shoes and socks on. So that means I got completely butt naked, and I put my socks and my shoes back on, and I step in her shower. I haven't heard this story. I, swear, this yep. I haven't heard this like, story. Like, like uh, a black guy who does porn. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Wow. Yeah, exactly. You gotta get the grip. Yeah, gotta, gotta get, get the grip. Get the grip. So I'm literally home. taking a shower with my fucking shoes and socks on, and then it's like, I'm literally, it's getting bad. And then out of nowhere, just bang, I start hysterical laughing. Just hysterical laughing, having the fucking best time. And then it was going back in waves. Hysterical laughing, terrified. Hysterical laughing, terrified. I slept on the floor in my, at that time, two-year-old daughter's room. I, all true. I sleep on the floor with her, her. She's got a stuffed animal, Piggy. She fucking loves this animal, Piggy. I At some point in the night, I take Piggy <laughs> off her bed, sleeping on the floor. I wake up, Piggy's mouth on my taint. No I said, yes. way. I said, literally, and I was sleeping butt Poor naked. Piggy. I slept butt naked on my daughter, my two-year-old daughter's bedroom floor. I'm sleeping butt naked. So think about what she has to wake up to. Yeah. Two years old, her father, who doesn't live in the house anymore, is naked with her favorite stuffed animal eating her dad's ass. In between my balls and asshole. And then I woke up. You know, my kid's mom like woke me up, and she saw what was happening because she was the one who woke me up. She was like, "Chris." get out and then and then like I, she, she sees the whole thing and she's like this is why we can't be together i was gonna say this is why we can't be this together. is yeah. why you can't do it I, I, that's the worst dude dude edibles man oh yeah. dude. Artie, One, lang, I Artie lang talked me off of, uh, i called him in the middle of the night because i ate a brownie same thing exact same thing i kept pacing the rug too po potent man they, but bro, yeah. I, they, so, they, they, and they stay forever yeah i thought i was gonna die and i and the, the clock was moving so slowly I right. was like, what is it? It was a minute. An hour would right. go by and one minute would have gone by. And I, I called Artie. I go, I called the Poison Control Center. And I go, I think I took too much marijuana. And he said, where are you? He said, how old are you? I said, I'm 30. He said, where, I go, he goes, where are you? And I go, I go, oh. And I hung up on a house phone back then. Right. And then I called Artie. And I said, I feel like I'm going to die. He goes, you're not going to die. You feel jumpy. And he talked me down for 45 minutes. Dude. Because he's a... I, who, what seasoned drug addict do you call? You call your boy. Call I Artie. woke him up. Thank yeah. God for Artie because he kept me When calm. it comes to weed, call Joey Diaz. So it becomes yeah. edible. Fuck, I did that. I got so high in Jamaica with my girlfriend. I got there and I tipped the guy. I thought you have a wife. Joined, this is a long time ago. Oh, I thought you... Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm separate. He's really good, Dave. Yeah, oh, you are you separate? I'm, I'm divorced now, yeah. Are you seriously, yeah. really? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, what yeah. are you doing tonight? Uh, what do you mean? You want to get some fucking edibles? See where the night goes? I don't know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't tell me you were fucking divorced. Hey, 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 
Hey, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Whoa, no, come on, right. Tortellini Tush. You didn't fucking tell me. <laughs> no, no, no. Tortellini Booby you're Bear. Not, no, you're not my. Guy, I'll fucking cancel Kimmel right now. You're as not my, friends, I'm saying. You're not my type, man. Why don't we go to He's, Jamaica? Why do you keep looking me up and down like that? Because I didn't know you were he fucking said, on the market now, Kimmel guy. Right now. <laughs> Stop making this fucking weird, hun. Uh, don't call me hun. <laughs> now I was telling a story about Jamaica, man. God, what the fuck do you want to do? You want to get a timeshare? I don't think so. <laughs> Bro, I didn't know you were single. I I'm confused. Wow. Your teeth are straight. Dude, that's the only thing that's straight about me. Oh. <laughs> I was at Doc Gooden's no hitter. Doc Gooden's oh, fucking wow. no hitter, May 1996. I'll never forget because it was Doc Gooden's no hitter. And in just a, a few short months later, I, my life was going to change by the skull fuck and the priest ring. Yeah. Because that was also 96, but the summer. So... <laughs> So I'm sitting at the game. We're in the upper, upper, upper deck, which I'm fine with those seats. But sure. my, my dad's like, you know, Dwight Gooden, it's seventh inning, no hits. My dad's like, this guy's pitching a no-no. I kept, kept saying, my, Dwight's pitching a no-no. He kept saying, Dwight, this guy's pitching a fucking no-no. And then so, and then so he's like, we got to get better seats. And I was like, yeah, but it's fine. You know, oh, and by the way, that day well, of Dwight Gooden's no-hitter was a Monday. I had a science project due the next morning. The next day, and my mother had said, my told my father specifically, leave after the fourth inning. He needs to be home. We have to go to wake him up at 7 a.m. He needs to finish the science project. The fourth inning, Tony, I'm serious. Now, keep in mind, it's 1996, no cell phones. My mother's like, yeah, and my dad's like, yeah, the fourth inning, I got it. Don't worry, babe. He called my mom, babe. He still, it's yeah. like, they've been divorced 30 years, but he still calls her babe. She's like, this is offensive. So, <laughs> so, so he's like, no problem, babe. I'll have him back, toots. I'll see, you know, we're going to cook dinner. She's like, we've been divorced for 20 years. You know, he just doesn't get it. So <laughs> he still thinks they're happily married. I'm like, you live in a bathtub. So, so, so he goes, so my dad, this is, so we're at the Yankee game. Now it's the seventh inning. It's fucking way past the fourth inning. It's I see the time like that. Mom said to go home. He goes, listen, Dwight's pitching a no no, so she'll understand. A no no. Yeah. 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 She'll I'm understand. like, well, she'll understand. She doesn't know what baseball even is. She's gonna know what a no no is. So my mom, so my dad goes, All right, listen. He goes, It's coming up on the eighth inning. He goes, We gotta get you behind home plate. I gotta get you behind home plate. I said, yeah, but dad, I don't care. He goes, no, no, he's pitching. No, no, we're going to go. He goes, you got to listen to me. Do everything I tell you to do. This is all fucking like in slow motion. I remember this day in my life. So we get down to the security <laughs> guard behind home plate. And my dad sees two or three open seats right behind home plate, right? In the old Yankee stadium. And uh, he says to the security guard, he's like, and he goes, listen, he goes, uh, he goes, you know, it's Dwight's pitching a no-no. He goes, me and my kid, I mean, first time I've ever taken him to the Yankee Stadium. That was like my 12th game that season. He was like, it's the first time I've ever taken him to the fucking Yankee Stadium. It's a big moment for my kid. Dwight's pitching a no-no. There's two seats. Come on. Let me just, and he's, you know, taking out cash. My dad always yeah. does, takes out cash. What, what do I need? You know, greasing people. And the guy goes, uh, no. He's not, he can't sit down there. I'm sorry, you're going to have to watch him here. And then that takes your breath. He goes, he goes, all right. He goes, uh, but my son's got special needs. I swear to God. And then I was like, I looked up at him and I was like, what? <laughs> like, I, special needs. And then I was just sitting there with my mouth open, like kind of like with a half smile. And then the security guard gives me a noogie and goes, have a good time, kid. And then literally, and then I was just, and I literally was like, it what gave me a complex because I'm like, I know I have like a weird mushroom haircut from Supercuts, but I don't think I look like I fucking have special needs. But I... I sat there. Ah. I swear to God. I ah. sitting there. It ruined your day. And, and, and this is where the story gets unbelievable, but I swear to God, this is fucking true. The row in front of where me and my dad are sitting, now it's the ninth inning. Dwight's two outs away from the no-hitter, which he eventually Big gets. Deal. Big deal. He see, I see. I notice. It's fucking... I'm 12 years old. Height of the WWF, big wrestling fan, Mr. Perfect Oof. is at one row in front of us. Mr. fucking Perfect, the wrestler. Every kid's favorite wrestler at that time. I'm like, Dad, that's Mr. Perfect. And he goes, who's that? And I go, uh, I go, he's a wrestler. And he goes, yeah. I go, I was fucking great. And he goes, and he just starts yelling. He, he drops the mystery. He goes, yo, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> he goes, give my son an autograph. What about getting my kid an autograph? Do I switch to no, no. And then Mr. Perfect, I swear to God, turns around and he goes, no. I swear oh, to God, wow. he goes, no. Like he was just, and he he's had everyone, he yeah. was drinking and you know, whatever. And then my dad goes, my son's got special needs. <laughs> I, swear, I swear to God. And then I still to this day, in my mother's room, have a Yankees ticket signed half-assed by Mr. Perfect. And then we get back and it was the same story with my father as it fucking always is. We're a block away from my mother's house. It's two o'clock in the fucking morning. Holy I'm supposed fuck. to be home by eight. Holy it's two o'clock in the morning. My dad goes don't tell your mother what happened just don't tell your mother what happened tell her there was a train delay 
a fucking train guy. <laughs> so literally, I, I love your father. Do we? Ring, what a great fucking dad. Yeah, we ring. What the, a great dad. Great dad. And then my dad. It's so funny because it's two a.m. and my dad used to sleep in the basement because he had to go all the way back to Staten Island. And then it was two o'clock in the morning and my dad starts walking in to go to the basement and my mother goes, Tony, get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> and he had to take the ferry and three trains all the way back to his house on Staten Island what a beautiful at 2 a.m. And then, what yeah, a great memory. What a, what a great, dad, great memory. Besides great you being memory. special. Yeah, but. being special. And then, uh, and then, yeah, and then I, I failed. I didn't, you know, I got a D on that science project because I just couldn't Who, do it. Worth it. Worth it. What a fucking, fucking man. Fucking no -hitter I st guy. You're going to be my kidding. favorite story yeah, yeah, the kid. I agree with you. Yeah, that might be one of my favorite stories. And you're gonna think I'm kidding, but it is. makes me kind of think about how to parent my son. Yeah, I gotta start doing Keep some him out shit. At two in the morning. Yeah, yeah whatever. Like break Mix rules. It up, yeah, dude. dude. I gotta take him to a game. I've never taken my kid to a fucking game. Nah, dude. My dad. That would literally. Have my you? Was four. He's four. Well, that was my dad's teaching places for that. Anything like, and it was always rewards. If I could get a good grade, or if I would, you know clean my room or That's how I operate. my dad would be like the incentive for you That's is i'll take I you to a knicks game i'll take you to yankees game i'll take mm -hmm. you to a new york giants yeah. game so that and that was all the moments with my father were at stadiums great yeah. great moments. memories I, I like uh kimmel uh, yeah i, I like him, him too kimmel, kimmel just him. i don't know him but he I, I just everybody i know i know his sister did you see him doing the kobe bryant stuff i did he was the host monster I monster. I monster monster his He's show is the edgiest coolest one out yeah. of all those late nights you ever see sure. him crying over don rickles oh yeah no i love that you've seen him cry i mean he's, he's cried it, a million times he was there. crying on, over don he loved don rickles and yeah. he couldn't stop crying it was yeah. just fucking gay homo for that no 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 hey sorry hey hey i didn't mean that in this climate man this is, i'm sorry it's the plants my vldls are high man no, you can't it. blame that on your on your bigotry he, no dude i'm kidding do you know plants, the difference dude. between bigotry and racism is um bigotry and racism bigotry and racism and no anybody, i don't if you're a bigot versus being a racist yeah i guess bigot means you're essentially prejudiced against uh it could be anything it could be individual if you're racist you're you're prejudiced against towards, a race but if you're bigoted you're yeah, but you I, can I don't be racist, like fat people but you that can, would be bigoted but you could be racist towards multiple Mm -hmm. Racist? Mm -hmm. You're just saying it's just racist. Without well, the word Nothing bigot, else. he's a bigot. You you can be. But you can like, say, you know, I, don't hire, I don't hire a fat people. Uh, I don't okay, hire yeah. short. And that'd be, that'd be yeah. I think yeah. racism and tribalism is just a part of us as human beings. Yes. And it's it's like doesn't make you all bad. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like my dad, when Staten Island, there was a hurricane on Hurricane Sandy in 2012, and my dad lived on Staten Island, and uh, the, the coast of Staten Island was ravaged, right? But my father lived a little bit inland. So he would get a U-Haul truck every single day and go down and help the families, mostly Latino families, help them out, take their kids to school, everything. But simultaneously, while he was doing that, just because he's an old school guy from the Bronx, like the leader of the fam, one family took in the patriarch, his name was Jose, my dad just called him Juan. You know, or like it's just, or he was like, "Hey, kids, don't steal my silverware." Like old hack jokes, you know. He was like, "Where's your fucking passports? If you got, I'll call, I'll get ice in here in a second. Yeah. Are you citizens?" But he was taking them to school every day, yeah. washing their clothes, everything like that. You know, Good guy. It's old school Good. mentality. So it's Good like, but it's like guy. in 2020, somebody who's fucking woke and dope would be like, oh, "My dad's a pig," and it's like, yeah, he was doing more than you For, were yeah. with, with your dumb with fucking his hands. paper straws. He's a good pig. He's a good pig. My dad's a good, good, good pig. I, I always say that. It's your so like what I was saying before is like, is like, you know, like I'm someone, and this is just this, where I come from, where it's like, I feel like I donate to GoFundMes anytime I see a homeless person. I not only offer them money, I offer them food and water. So why am I not allowed to then yell racial slurs at non-whites in the <laughs> well, street? Because, because, ask me that. Because you, I don't because, know why. Chris, you can't. <laughs> Chris. Like, uh, it's like, I because you fucking can't. Dude. Like, I don't understand it's why. It works, you dude. can't do nice things for people just so you can be in a vocal racist. Dude. I, uh, but I'm giving homeless people fucking full bagels toasted with butter. I know, dude, you know, but you can't. He's kind of earned it, though. No, dude. guys. He's kind of, guys, you're missing you. the fucking point. He's clearly doing this so he can exercise his right to be a complete son of a Why bitch not? racist. Yeah, I can't I can't throw a mask at an Asian person and say, put this on you coronavirus fucking <laughs> No, you can't. If I gave a guy if I gave literally gave a homeless guy a dollar. Yeah. If I gave a homeless guy a fucking You're buying dollar, you're racist. You're buying a racist. If I give comment. a homeless guy a dollar, I can't go on the subway and go up to some woman selling churros and say passport now or I call ice in five <laughs> seconds. No, you can't what? do that. Why not? Because passport you're so now. you're yeah. so offensive to my I'm I'm rather or go woke. pick a black guy in the face and say, here's your fucking money. Hey, <laughs> 
<laughs> if I give a guy, if I give a guy five dollars a week before that, oh, homeless you, guy, you can't buy the right your right to be a racist. You son of a bitch! Use your money. Black History oh, Month. Yeah, February's over. You oh, son my, of a bitch! I'm just kidding. Oh. oh, it's Women's History Month. Let me tuck it back. <laughs> I'm yeah, kidding Chris, around. Chris, you, 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 you went to the store. Bless you. <laughs> Dude, let me know next time. I'll open my mouth. <laughs> what the fuck did you say? I got Corona. Oh, no. That's the other thing. People are around my set on, on the show. People are elbow, uh, bumping elbows. Oh oh, I'm gay. like, get the oh, fuck out of here. I love that people Shake are, my hands right now. No, I love, that, I love that people buy the Corona ma uh, buy the uh, uh, masks, like those masks. That's nothing. That's not going to do anything. And the no, they, it only helps if you, ha if you have the virus. It keeps it so you don't get other people that sick. So, yeah. Babesicles. Let me tell you something right now. That <laughs> fucking, <laughs> that fucking babesicles. That, that he kissed fucking, me yesterday at the comic store. Kiss me too. In front of all my friends. Kiss me too. No, no. In front of all my friends. I'm like, what's up, dude? He's coming in here. I'm like, what? Kids yeah. Man. Okay. What are you gonna do, dude? That's the know. thing. You and I could get on the octagon, and you'll stick to the floor because I'll come all over you. You're not gonna get up, dude. I'm gonna shoot my spider webs on you and pin you one, two, three. I don't, I don't want <laughs> yeah. that. Man. Chlamydia free, guy. I got the results. It's true. Congrats. Listen, the coronavirus. I don't think for a second that hoax. that's from eating bats. I think that that was biochemically made in a lab in, in China, China, and they make it, and then the people that wear the masks are so fucking stupid because the masks are made in China. They're dipping the masks in the coronavirus, sent them to the <laughs> United States. It's a whole conspiracy that I know that the liberal fucking cucks have made to try to crash the economy, and you're not going to take down Trump, Trump 2020. Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> dude. What? Where, what book is it? It's this El Ch Catch in El Chapo. Oh, wow. That's right. fantastic. 5%. 5% of all murders get solved. That seems high. Well, that's what I thought. Yeah. That seems yeah. high. I was like, I feel like it's one to Think two. Think about yeah. how Because they, they don't care. Because they're like, and it's so corrupt, they're not looking into it. You ever drink a Jarrito? Mm. It's a fucking nice what little beverage. I don't know. It's just a bear. I thought it's Mexican. It's some nice little drink that I like to drink. Just a nice little Jarrito. A Jarrito? Yeah, Jarrito. Put on a baseball <laughs> game. Watch those fucking guys run around. The bases. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, man. Oh, the little, the little yeah. fucking. Uh, ah, Jarito. Jarito. Oh, Jarito. Okay, Jarito. Jarito. The fruit punch. They get the si, si. guana. I mean, yes. Yeah, dude. Yeah, so uh, I love all groups, man. <laughs> Truly, I do. Well, yeah. thank you for having us. Uh, I want to know what kind of white is he? Uh, white. Yeah. He's, you know what? He's the Schindler white. I, I like I like everybody. I, don't I, I anybody, understand that. I don't want to push anybody in ovens. I'm, I'm, I, I, you know, I am for the wall, and I, you know, but but I, I want I want to make sure everyone here has their passport because right. you guys are looking at me, and it's I'm, I'm getting a little, you know, uh, I'm getting a feeling the walls are coming. But I want to say this, but I don't want to hurt any Jews. Right. I, don't special that. needs. That's what they call me. My we call him special needs Stamos. That's my dick that's name. And we also call him and we also call him Yanni Omos yeah, yeah. because he's you know he's he, his his head is almost big enough. He's almost handsome. He's almost got a big enough dick. He's almost had a career. He's come close yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah and he's yeah. almost gay that's the thing with us is i'll say this about us yeah, yeah. is we're a podcast number one we're a podcast that's on the run we're, we're just feel like we say shit yeah. we're here for a good time not a long time yeah, yeah. the history hyenas <laughs> um we uh, we can confidently confidently 100 tell you we are not gay but we can also tell you we are not straight yeah. so so i just don't know what it is it's a mixed match yeah. we're a couple of guys we fall in love with men we have sex with women that's how it rolls right. and he's got a fucking sense. wife yeah 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 china's everywhere bro china's, i know yeah no i'm fucking how do you team feel china. how do you feel about the china uh, china no the people the people buying all the property By, and, and the money i got no all. problem with them because i'm a property owner now i like the chinese he actually I like wants, <laughs> he wants his daughter I like, to date a chinese i no, i 100 someone yeah. my daughter to date a fucking chinese kid because all the people i'm telling you <laughs> i agree with that Absolute, chinese men are the best husbands 100 yeah. percent because it's like it's like okay she goes to school with all these fucking woke kids in brooklyn and they're like are you vaccinated or like yeah, <laughs> on with the chinese they don't give a fuck the no. chinese they, they don't care it's like they they'll give my kid what Whatever. They don't ask about peanut allergies. One of the Chinese grandmother gave my kid a, a live shrimp in a bag the other day, and we, we don't know is this a toy, is this food? They're like, is, are, am I keto? I didn't fucking know. Yeah. But I want. Where they're playing on the abacus and shit. They talk about the sun. They do full fucking Chinese shit. Yeah. I don't know if they're Korean or whatever, but it's Chinese. Shit. <laughs> Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's an attack, but I'm gonna let it go. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm in therapy right now. I'm gonna yeah. let it go, dude. All right. Yeah. Fucking wild look at your mullet. No. I fucking yeah, yeah, love what you're about, dude. Yeah. By the end of this thing, I'll kiss you right in the fucking lips. I, know. I, I swear know. to God, man. Because you got you did a thing last night that was yeah. very European. You kissed my hand three times. Yeah. Absolutely. Is that a fucking New York thing? No, he just thought, he thought you were King John Un. That's what yeah, he called. Yeah. Yeah. He I said was, he got confused. Yeah. I was paying. I was paying respect to the dear leader. Oh, you were. That's what it was. Yeah. He's paying respect. No, no, no. Don't fucking lose it because you're coming and you're wild and you're and you're free spirit. Yeah. And 
you're kind of like me because they call me Chrissy Bug Chaser because I like to chase bugs. <laughs> um, and what I mean by that is, uh, you know, guys, homosexual community, yeah. they go and they have guys who don't have AIDS yeah. have sex with guys who do have AIDS because of the feeling of chasing the bug. And I'm not a gay guy, <laughs> but but I do chase the bug. I yeah. do go raw dog. I'm actually dealing with residual uh, diarrhea right now from antibiotics I took for long term chlamydia. Yeah. Chlamydia. He's where you're going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know where you're fishing and I agree. Because I feel like he, right, when he made you, yeah. he took a day. Yeah, like he's like get, oh, yeah. get, the, get the chins in, right? Get the, get the chin. coat, right, and all that stuff, right? <laughs> and he concentrated, right? But with me, he went like this, pop, pop, and threw it. Down, right? <laughs> and, 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 and does this guy uh, need a drink. chin? No, yeah, right. yeah. and he yeah. need a billion of us too. <laughs> yeah, a lot and of you. He says we're making up, just pop, pop, and just Dude. throw them in down. Right? Yeah. Yeah. White dudes like you, yeah, he really concentrated. Well, I think it's I think God's German. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> and I and I think the wrong people won the war. I'm just no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Trump 2020. Did you ever suck dick? I've never sucked a dick. Well, I've never sucked a dick. Uh, that you I, didn't black out while you were doing it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've never sucked a dick you. willingly, but I did get face fucked when I was 12. Yeah, that just got, happened. Uh, That's what uh, happened. When you, grow, trauma. when you grow up in a neighborhood, uh, I grew yeah. up in a deep trauma. A deep Brooklyn, Queens neighborhood yeah. with real fucking tough guys, you know, yeah. that are all cops, firemen, criminals. And I had a love of history and plants. So you're going to get skull fucked <laughs> yeah, when that happens. Yeah. <laughs> when that, yeah. I, if you start to talk about your open love of history, then unfortunately, one of the you McLaren brothers is going to pop one off your uvula, and there's nothing you can do about that. Dude. That's just that's the way the cookie crumbles, yeah. as they say. You're got, talking to the. I've never had my dick sucked by a gay man, but I have. I got the skull fuck when I was a kid, but never in my adult life willingly with a guy. Uh, I do. I'm not. If I'm being 100 percent honest with you, I do fantasize quite often about sitting in men's laps, mm -hmm. but I don't know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> He's got like a Santa. Thing. Yeah. yeah. One Charity who gay? skull fucked you, and do you remember everything about I, him? I remember. I remember. It was two brothers. <laughs> oh, you got skull fucked by brothers? Well, one of them held me down. The other one. The other one pumped me. Oh. So I was <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So I was sitting down. I they were the road warriors I, of rape. So, so here's what, yeah. So here's what happened. I was, I was like the runt of the group. I was 10, 11 years old, and I would hang out with 14, 15 year old mm. kids. That's how I, that's how I grew up. I was always like the little one, but they would hang out, whatever. So I was, sit, I was taking a shit, and they were all in my house. And I used to do all things. I mean, I remember one time they made me dress up. That I got like butt naked and put on my mother's high heels and a Miami Dolphin, <laughs> Miami Dolphins hat, and I went and opened the door for the Chinese guy, Chinese food guy and they pushed me out. And they locked the door, and it was just me and him, and the guy wouldn't, you know, the guy was like, get away from me. And I was just butt naked with my mom's high heels on, you know, in the middle of a summer day in New York City. Um, so I just went, you know. <laughs> so, so that thing, they would do things like that to me, which I was mistaken for love. I was like, oh, they, it's just they're razzing me because they, I didn't realize that they were abusing uh -huh. me. You know, you don't know. So then I'm taking a shit one day, and one of them held me down. And just the other one fucking pumped me. It wasn't a gay, I mean, it probably was a subconsciously gay thing, but it was just to show dominance over me. Yeah. But in the long run, I don't really regret it because, you know, and I'm not talking, I don't, I'm not disrespecting them all. They're still actually close friends of mine. I, I'm totally over it. But I've excelled in parts of my life where they have not because I was motivated to be like, you guys did. Once I started to realize what was happening to me, I was like, I'm going to destroy you now in every part of my life. Yeah. And that's what happened. I have, just, Mexicans are. I'm not even going to lie to you, even over Filipinos, my favorite people in the world. Yeah. No, right. They're my favorite people, too, as long as they're citizens. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> as long as they got the papers. Yeah, as long as, as long as you're not coming over the wall from Juarez. Um, no, I'm kidding. Uh, yeah. Long time no see. Huh? What up, baby? What up, man? Yeah, cuz. Dude, that's crazy. You look beautiful. You got all blue on. Do you wear blue a lot? No, I um now normally I, I, I've been wearing sweatpants a lot, mm -hmm. but... You know, I'm flying home today, so when I go back to New York, you know, you can't just you can't come off the plane in sweats like that. Really? You know? I mean, I guess you could, but I just feel like, you know, I don't know, I'm going home and then I got to go right to see my family. So, do you dress nice when you fly? Do you dress? Plus, I got a little penis. You know that. I've never seen your penis, dude. What? I've never sent you my dick. I never seen that one that uh, when I put the. I will block you if you send me it. I got one. I thought I sent you one. I'm trying I got, to stay off porn. I'm 43 days right now. I, I um I, I I I got one where you know I send it out as my dick, but it's actually just a television remote in my sweatpants. But it looks like I have a fucking hog. And when girls ask for a dick pic, that's what I send out, mm -hmm. and they think like. They think I have the biggest dick ever, and then when we finally do get to sex, you know, I got to turn all the lights off and get them as wet as possible. Suddenly, it's the uh, it's the um, Apple TV remote. Suddenly, you <laughs> yeah. got like, yeah, because uh, you think it's Files, <laughs> it's an Apple TV. Yeah, I mean, a lot like, of is this Fire Stick? What is this little? Do you thing? want to? Say, it, it look. I, I do not. Okay, all right, because it looks like a. I mean, it looks like a, ha a hammer. Really? Yeah, dude. 
Like what kind of a, you said like a small hammer? It looks like well, it's just it's just a thick. It's a television remote in gray sweatpants, but it looks like my dick. Right. It's easily and I've sent it around. You've been to, sending it to women. I sent it. Well, if they ask me, I send it to women, and then and then I send it to my boys. My boys have it, so there's yeah. a circulation. Of, that's every. That's my crew's dick pic. I do not want to be one of your boys then, because I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make it to 44 days of no pornography. I'm not losing my streak because you're yeah. gonna send me. Now, what's the thought process on that? Why no porno? I don't like it, man. It's yeah. just too. It just makes me feel bad about myself. So some of that's my own thing. Make right. me feel bad. Right. But then secondarily, I don't like, I don't like, you know, honestly, just spraying out of my own sink. You know, it's yeah, kind of yeah, just yeah. at a certain age, when right. you're young, it's fun. Right. It's cool. It's exciting. You're like, oh, how much of this yeah. is in my body? Yeah. But you get older and yeah. you're like, oh, I'm still doing this. I still don't have any groceries. You know, you know what? Like, <laughs> yeah. It's like, listen, as you get older, right, you only have a finite amount of energy each day. Yeah. I can't be using and a lot of that energy is in your balls. A lot of a lot of, you know, sperm is energy. Yeah. So it's like you can't, like you said, be spraying it out unnecessarily when there's shit you gotta do. Like I'm somebody's dad. Right. So it's like I can't jerk off into my belly button anymore. Ugh. You know what I mean? I that's just shit I can't do anymore because I got a kid to feed. So it's like yeah. the energy that I have has to be, you know, making sure her homework's done, watching her cartoons, getting my career right, going to the gym. I can't be on Pornhub, you know, just just whacking off into my belly button. Um, but you did your thing, man. You just, you know, and now, and now look, and it's a beautiful thing because now it's like you have an opportunity to like be out here for like long format stuff. People get to know you that feel like they're a part of your family. Yeah. And then they come out to the shows, man. And you'll never lose them. You'll never lose the fans. I, mean, I get could, to have people like you on that I think are funny. Dude, you could do something fucked up tomorrow and maybe you'll lose ads on the podcast. Yeah. But you ain't going to you, you ain't gonna lose your fans. What do you think I would do that would be fucked up? An honest crime you could see me doing. Let me an take the hat off. Honest, so real guess. shit that yeah. I could see you doing? A real are, crime. And then I'm going to tell you a couple about you. Yeah. Okay. So like a guy like you, well, first of all, you look like you're on crystal meth. Like, you know what I mean? Okay. Like, I know you're not, but like, you look like, like, like it would be, it would be shocking to me that a guy that looks like you isn't using crystal oh, meth. Like I'd be, I'm in shock that you're not. Why? Cause there's not a t-shirt under the sweater. Well, well cause it's yeah. just sweater to skin. It's That's sweater a, to skin. Yeah. And really like, and just like the hair and the beard. It's like, it's like, you just look like a beard. Well, whatever. Like, a little the, bit of hair. you know, he's got like a civil war head. You know what I mean? And it just, <laughs> it, just, and it just looks like, like you use drugs to like, <laughs> Like get through your pain, you know what I mean. So I would think so. I so definitely like robbing a liquor store is what you look. You have that robbing a liquor store look. You also look like you could be like you're you a suspect. You look like you're in any making a murder or shit. Like you're on the list for sure. You're on the short list. So I would say one of those, either a murder suspect or robbing a bank. But I think like an actual crime you could actually do, like with who you are as Theo, not on drugs like L.A. Like as Theo Vaughn right now. So I think you, I could see you. Um, being being a distracted driver texting and kill a mentally challenged okay, person. Wow. That's what I could see you doing. And then leaving the scene of the accident. Oh. Yeah, I could see you doing that. And but then do you, I leave with them? Do I put them back yeah, in my car? Yeah, and then as an attempt to cover yeah, like And you then I raise them at home. Exactly. <laughs> oh, but that's I a could, good movie. But you, idea. Could, but you could lose a sponsor for that. Yeah. Yeah, you may lose an ad. But, but what about years later when I reintroduce him to society and he dope. can fucking dance? Yeah, I mean it's like <laughs> like that movie Nell. Remember yeah. that movie? Yeah, it was just raised by wolves. And that's yeah. the song at the end. If I asked you to dance. Fuck and it's yeah. me wheeling him out into a gymnasium. Yeah. yeah, dude. His parents haven't seen him for years, and they're not even excited to see him. <laughs> yeah. And I wheel him out there, dude. and he gets up and just, Would you save my soul tonight? tonight? I can be. And then he fucking yeah. just pirouettes. Pirouette, yeah, in his wheelchair. Wow. That, Beautiful. That's, that's the crime I could see you do. Yeah, dude. Yeah, what about me? Two gay guys in the stands just hold a lighter up. Yeah. It's like, chill out, fellas, you know? Yeah. This boy is mine. What about me? What do you think I could do? Let me think. I could see you being like a. Obviously, you seem like a dude that works at a toll booth that fucking always right. tells people he's going to do something different. Like on your lunch break, you tell all the black ladies you're going to be doing something different, but <laughs> yeah. you still keep coming back. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. you always pocket a couple of quarters. You think you have a scheme? It's like stealing like 75 <laughs> cents a day. Yeah. And stacking it up at home for like a big adventure. Yeah. You know? I live with my mother for sure. <laughs> yeah. You're going to head yeah. down to Atlantic yeah. City. Yeah. So petty crime like that, 75 cents a day right. crime, I could see you doing. Yeah. Um. What else? 
I could see you uh, going into the Air Force. I could see you doing some like AWOL type of shit. Right, right, yeah. Like yeah. going rogue, going to another country, going yeah. to Afghanistan or Saddam. Um, doing some shit like that. Insane, yeah, or somewhere Iraq. And just like because like because I just want to defend freedom and defend my country, I'm killing innocent women and children yeah, some in home, the Middle East. Yeah, yeah, some dirty homeland type of yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, Next thing you're over there in a fucking sweat lodge, dude. Yeah, just, just drinking curry through a straw. Yeah. ISIS gets me. They try to, I got, But I got such a big head that I, I just keep fucking up their beheading videos. Yeah, and I got like a size eight hat head. I could see you, yeah, yeah and getting in a, a lawsuit with new era hats because they don't have <laughs> yeah. a proper fit. Yo, I got a big ass head, man. But you're Dutch, aren't you?